do today? We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play. Okay. Sing a song and pray. That's right. God really loves us. God really, really cares about you, me, our families. That's right. God's always right there. Woo! Let me fix my curls. You've tuned into Callie's world. That's right, boys and girls. Welcome to Callie's world. Hey, friends. Do you remember how I got glow sticks at church? They even gave us extra to hand out to friends. Well, today they told us why. Because Jesus is alive and we're gonna party! The glow sticks I handed out are actually invitations to my church's Easter party! I'm gonna call Grace and tell her. Hey, Callie, what's up? Grace! Do you still have that glow stick necklace I gave you? Hmm, I sure do. It's right here. Why? I have some amazing news. Did you know that Jesus died? But he came back to life. Yep, he wasn't dead anymore. He was alive. And my church is having a party to celebrate that. And that glow stick necklace is your invitation. Wow, I feel honored and happy and ready to dance. Callie, can you show me your dance moves so I can get ready for the party? I can, but only if my friends promise to dance along. What do you say, friends? Get up and dance with us. Okay, here we go. One, the Callie Shuffle. Two, the Callie Shake. Three, the Callie Freestyle. Four, the Callie Pop. Five, the Cali Cali dance. Maybe you had a glow stick too. Maybe not. Either way, that was really fun. Yeah, it was. I have to catch my breath while we check out our Bible story today. <sighs> it's time for today's Bible story and it comes from the book of John chapter 20. After Jesus died, he was put into a tomb which is like a cave. There was a huge stone rolled in front of the opening. A couple of days later, Mary Magdalene visited Jesus' tomb and found that the stone was rolled away. She ran and told two of Jesus' friends, Peter and John. Peter and John ran really fast to Jesus' tomb. They went into the tomb and only saw the cloth that was used to wrap Jesus' body. Jesus was definitely not there. They didn't know yet that Jesus had came back to life. They went back to where they were staying. Mary Magdalene stayed there outside of the tomb. She cried because she was so sad. She peeked into the tomb and saw two angels sitting there. They asked her, why are you crying? Mary told them that Jesus had been taken away. She turned around and Jesus was right there. Jesus asked her, why are you crying? Who are you looking for? Mary thought Jesus was the gardener. And she cried out saying, if you're the one who moved Jesus, tell me where he is so I can go get him. Then Jesus said her name, Mary. Then she knew it was Jesus. She cried out for joy. Jesus told Mary to tell the others that he was alive. She ran to where Jesus' friends were staying and told them what she saw. She told them Jesus was alive. It was the best news ever. Jesus did what he said he would do. Jesus died and rose again. Blue eggs, pink eggs, golden eggs, but never glow in the dark eggs. This is going to be amazing! Friends, you want to help me find glow in the dark eggs? You do? Come along with me! Wonder. 
what I would have said if I saw Jesus like Mary in the story did. Like, Jesus, you're alive! Or I might say, Jesus, it's good to see you. Or, Jesus, you rose! I'm so happy that 